All right, what's up everybody? I got this craft package on my porch today, and I'm guessing it's the new mid-range in the Paul Macbeth line, so let's crack these open. See what we got. First time I've seen these at all. Alright, we got two of them here. Um, I mean, first off impressions, you can definitely notice there's a bead on it. Uh, let's try to get a good profile picture here. Um, it's got a slight dome to it. Not too much. Um, you can definitely see the bead on it. But uh, I'm going to go give these a toss out in the field and give a review. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to be throwing these about 80%. And here comes a hyzer release. Real stable flight, just a swooping hyzer left the entire way. And on a flat release here... Felt like I threw it pretty flat, and pretty quickly it starts going to the left. And on this Anheuser release, I throw it a little bit low, but it still has enough stability to fight back and land flat on the ground. And here comes a 10 mile an hour headwind. It goes a little bit straighter, but I mean the disc still just fights back really well. Okay, so I just got done uh, throwing some test shots with the new Paul Macbeth mid-range and uh, first impressions are that it's actually a lot more stable than I thought it was going to be. Um, I would personally put it between a Buzz OS and a drone. Um, the grip, it feels like a smaller, uh, shallower, and a little bit more narrow of a mid-range rim. Um, and then you can, you can definitely notice that bead on it when you throw. Uh, comparing it to a drone, which I really like for my overstable mid. Um, see how well we can put it up here, but uh, I mean the drone is a lot deeper and a little bit wider of a rim, I think. Uh, it's not going to go in my bag right away, but I might play with it a little bit more and maybe it'll work its way in there. But uh, yeah, these are coming out I think in about a week or so. And uh, make sure you pick one up and give it a test yourself. Thanks for watching, guys.